In a new announcement by the LIGO team, they claim to have detected a neutron star and black hole merger. This finding would be several orders of magnitude smaller than the previous black hole black hole merger. And when you dig a little deeper into LIGO, all is not as rosy as it seems, and many questions have been raised about whether they have actually detected anything. So let's find out more. Let's first recap what the LIGO detector does. It is able to detect supposed changes in the actual fabric of space-time. The principle is that large mergers can release energy into the fabric of space-time like a ripple on a pond. The energy creates a wave which travels outwards and will compress and stretch space-time as the wave passes by. The idea is that these small changes can be detected by using a laser beam that is split and shone down two perpendicular tunnels and then merged back together again. If any change in length occurs in either of the tunnels, an interference pattern is created on the return beam. The problem is that they are trying to detect changes as small as a thousandth of the diameter of a proton. And this is far smaller than the disturbances that come from background seismic tremors and even natural thermal vibrations of the detector hardware. And this is why they require more than one detector. They corroborate the signal by knowing that these waves must travel at the speed of light. They subtract the common signal and what is left out is the ambient background noise. Now this is their main ploy for extracting the signal out of the noise. In a report published last year, Danish scientists wrote up a report and published it in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics, questioning the validity of the LIGO findings. Now this was a peer-reviewed paper. The scientists who produced this paper were initially very shocked by how confident the LIGO team were with their results. When they looked into the data and compared the raw signal to the cleaned up signal, they looked nothing alike. They saw that the residual noise in both detectors had characteristics in common, and this meant that they did not separate the signal from the noise. And the problem is that they are looking for a signal in this noise, and they have to create a model of the noise in order to extract the signal, but the noise changes so much that this becomes almost impossible. And there is also no independent check on the collaboration's results. LIGO must work with single, uncontrollable, unrepeatable events. Although there are three detectors, they must work together as one instrument. Even more disturbing is that the new scientist uncovered that the collaboration decided to publish data plots that were not derived from actual analysis. They used data plots that were more illustrative than precise. Some of the results presented in their original paper were not found using analysis algorithms, but were done by eye. So a huge question remains as to whether we have actually detected gravitational waves at all. Still LIGO continued to push out the results, and what is more remarkable about this latest one is that they claim to have detected a neutron star which would be no more than three times the mass of the sun merging with a black hole, and I dread to think about how small a change they would have to detect in order to see this. What are these detectors actually picking up? In my mind, there are three possibilities. Firstly, they are indeed picking up fluctuations in space-time. Personally, I think there are many problems with the whole notion of space-time that are underappreciated. Now, at the moment, I am looking into gravity, so I'm going to pull together a separate series that will look at the, the problems with gravity and then examine new and old alternatives to the idea of gravity that may work better. Now, the second possibility is that what they're detecting is just noise, and therefore nothing has actually been detected. Huge questions still remain as to whether the data actually contains anything at all, or whether it is just noise and their algorithm is just finding whatever they want to look at. The third possibility is that they are detecting changes in the light, but not the length of the tunnel. 
Uh, through my research into alternative ideas on gravity, I am coming back to the idea of the ether, a medium for carrying light. And equally, they may also be a medium for carrying gravity. And this may be the same or different from light. There are old concepts that allude to the interplay between these two. So could it be that the LIGO detector is measuring changes in the ether? Could it be that there is a separate gravitational ether which can affect the light ether? Now, this does not mean that LIGO is detecting these black hole mergers, but it is more likely that these events are occurring more locally and that somehow it is warping the ether and the light. Now, these are early days into my research, but I wanted to share with you some of the initial thoughts on this to help you understand the direction that I'm heading in. But I would also be very interested in your thoughts on LIGO, gravitational waves, space-time, and of course, the whole concept of the ether. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.